Los Angeles uh, War Tapes. Hey, Bo, How you doing? Doing? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Let's uh, let's talk about the band. So, an LA band that uh, is on a Seattle record label. You guys are on Serathin Records. That's true. And I guess that's my first uh, my first question is, how did you guys come together? How did uh, those two entities meet and start working together? They stalked us for about like two years. <laughs> You know, just like looking through our windows at night. It was, it was kind of creepy, but finally we just kind of gave in. Excellent. Yeah. Um, the record is out in stores right now, the Continental Divide. Kind of tell us uh, about that, how that, uh, or, or kind of writing the record, recording the record, the, just the story of kind of how everything came together. Uh, we spent a long time on it. Um, you know, as a new band recording a full-length record, it's, it's a lot to think about and, you know, we did it all ourselves, so you know we would go in when we had time to record a couple songs, and you know we'd, we'd then we'd go play some shows, and, and then we'd come back, and we we you know we'd be somewhat happy with the recordings, but we felt like we could do a little bit better, so we you know scratch a lot of recordings and do redo them and redo them. So it wasn't like one of those things where you just go for a month and record an album and it's done. Mm -hmm. It was it was very piecemeal because um, you know just as a new band we didn't have the recording time, you know and and the means to do it all at once. So um, it came together slowly and surely, but, but by doing that, we kind of developed our own sound, I feel like, and um, it worked out for the best, you know? It certainly doesn't sound like a first record. It, it, it sounds very well produced. It's very big, it's very full. The songs are very just, uh, I mean, well structured and well recorded. Did you, was there was there a producer? Did you do that on your own? Or how did, how did all that happen? Because, I mean, normally bands making their first record can't make it sound like that. We worked with a huge producer. Huge mega yeah. Rick Rubin sandwich. <laughs> Actually, our, our drummer, drummer William. <laughs> our drummer William produced it. Himself. It happened by default, you know, just being in the studio mm -hmm. enough and understanding what needed to happen and, and uh, through our previous recordings, you know, learning from our mistakes. And it became very clear once we hit on something that, you know, we found a sound and, and how to, you know, move forward. So that once we ha figured that out, like kind of our formula, mm -hmm. it was smooth sailing. Well, kudos to the producer. Again, it sounds, yeah. uh, it sounds fantastic. It really, really does. Cool. Very cool. Oh, wait, I heard you guys, were you guys in Portland last night? Yeah. yeah. I think I saw on Twitter you went to Voodoo Donuts. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. How was that? Yeah, yeah, it's Eden great. Donuts. Did you guys have anything special? Like the... <laughs> I can't talk about, can't the talk about the donut about that I have. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all right. Penis is totally fine. Yeah, it's filled it's with a Boston penis cream. cream. <laughs> is that right? Can I say that? On the that's radio? Absolutely, absolutely. Just don't describe what happened when you bit into it. No, I don't. Yeah, I won't describe that. That's great. That's great.